My name is Andrea Dunn, I'm 43 years old, and I try my best to get out and skateboard every day. Get off my lawn! I started skating when I was 41 years old. It was October of 2016. I was dating a guy that was out skateboarding, and he invited me out to the park one time, and by the end of the night, I was, I was barefoot, but I was on a board skating and I was hooked. When I was a teenager, they put a skate park up in my hometown, just a couple of blocks from where I grew up. And I really wanted to go over and skate, but I was just too shy back then um, to wander over and learn how to skate. But I, it was always a dream of mine to skateboard. And when Tom Petty's video came out with, for free falling, and I saw the chick in there skating the half pipe, I wanted to be her. My favorite style of skating is bull skating because to me it feels more like surfing. I like going fast and, and surfing off the walls. But lately I've been doing more of the street skating, learning how to ollie and, um, and I like a lot of the transition. So bull and transition are probably my favorite, but I have goals to get better at the street stuff. Right now I'm skating at an 8.5 popsicle board. I've also got a 9.5 setup that I use a lot for the bull skating. So I've got a couple of different boards. I have an LDP board that I've used a couple of times to get out for long distance pushes. Those are great for going out to a park and just cruising. And then I also have a CCD cruiser board that um, is just fun to get out and push around. This right here is a Hurt Life board. It's my, it's my bull setup. This is what I started skating on. Um, at the time, all the boys were like, you don't buy a skateboard because of the graphic, but I'm a girl. So it's a mermaid and I'm a mermaid. So that was, that was why I picked this board. Shout out to Woody Sigrest for helping me kind of pick out the parts and, and get the whole setup together. But we put the rails on there because I wanted to protect the graphic. I like to stay active and so I, I do my best to get out and do something every day. Uh, it's worked out really nice. I'm lucky. I know I'm lucky. I have a park two minutes from my house. So even if I just can get out here for 30 minutes, I, I make that happen. So I know that I know that I have an advantage that Watauga has a park and it's just, it's so close to my house that I can make that happen. But I love it. When you're addicted to something, you just, you get out and do it as much as you can. Besides skateboarding, I. I stay active in a lot of other board sports. So I started paddle boarding back in 2014. I did a stand-up paddle boarding yoga class and then got into stand-up paddle board racing. Yes, they race on paddle boards. Traveled all throughout the state of Texas doing that. Uh, at the end of 2014, picked up wake surfing. So behind a boat, they create a wake and you can actually surf the wave. And I got hooked on that, so I spent the summer of 2015 doing a lot of wake surfing, got into some wake surfing competitions. And then 2016, it was time to pick up a new board sport, so I started looking at skateboarding. And I had a longboard, I picked up a longboard in 2016, and then eventually made it to the skate park and, and started skating at the parks. About six months ago, a friend of mine planted the idea of putting a mini ramp in my backyard. And I tossed around the idea, but didn't really take much action on it. And as karma would have it, a friend of mine was tearing down a bowl in his backyard because he was moving. And I jumped in and said, hey, I'll take part of that. And so ended up with a nice little mini ramp, moved to my backyard. And that whole process has just been um, a fun adventure. I've had a lot of people donate time, materials, and cash to make it happen. And so uh, within the last week even, we've got a mini ramp in my backyard. So the really cool thing about this mini ramp is, well, the first part is it's part of the CCD bowl. There's some history with it. We set it up and not just a standard mini ramp, we added a gap so it makes it makes it a little bit more challenging it's forcing me to to learn some new things and we put pool coping on both sides and i i was gonna do metal coping at least on one side but the pool coping was free and we wanted to skate so pool coping on both sides one i had several people why'd you do that 
It was free. Pool coping was free, so we went with pool coping. I do social media marketing and web design, so what I love about my job is it changes on a regular basis. No day ever looks the same. A lot of times I'll work from my patio, building a website, scheduling social media posts, that type of thing, and then I shut down at 6 o'clock and I go skate or I go to the lake. I, I find something fun to do. My business name is Convertible Communications and you can find me at convertible.cc. C-O-N-V-E-R-T-I-B-L-E dot C-C. My advice for anybody, especially older ladies that are wanting to get out and try skateboarding, it's first of all, get pads. So get your helmet, get your knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards, um, safety first, right? Go with a little bit wider board and start just pushing around. And don't be afraid. Like, seriously, all of the guys at the skate park, it, it can be intimida intimidating your first time out, but they love seeing people out there picking up their sport. So don't be intimidated. They see you out there rolling around. Don't be afraid. They'll get out of your way. They'll encourage you. They'll help you out, give you advice. I started on a 9.5 board, which is a little bit wider, and that gave me that stability so I didn't have to worry so much about my balance starting out. Learn how to push, roll around, um, and progress slowly. Like Just take your time and do what you're comfortable with. Push your limits, but listen to, listen to your body and, and don't push too hard. As much as I have loved the sport of skating and getting out on a board and learning new things. The thing that I absolutely love the most is the incredible people that I meet. Um, skateboarders are unique, they are fun, they are loving, they are probably the most creative and daring people you'll ever meet. They pass judgment on absolutely nobody. And that's, I think, the thing that I love about them the most. I think that's what brings them together. A lot of the locals that I skate with that are younger were a little skeptical of me at first because they didn't know why I was there. But once they realized, like, I'm there to shred right alongside of them, they've been really accepting. And um, a lot of them call me mom. So that's, uh, that's special to me. If you've enjoyed this video today, be sure to subscribe below and make sure you watch some of Geezer's other videos. Oh,